Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Air Alert with me, Emu Heard Thirty Seven. So it's been about maybe four or five days since I've flown. Uh, I've had my big pilots, uh, well, the big planes flying, the couple Airbuses, DC nines, the DC sixes, pretty much kept those flying. A couple jobs a day. Uh, I actually just went ahead and a little bit earlier and started assigning everybody a job, even for the Barons and the Caravans, which I don't usually do because it, it it takes so long, you know. I mean, you're having to search around, you know, for jobs that are going to pay four grand or whatever. And then, you know, we got these guys making 749 grand. And then, you know, you got another guy making four grand. It's kind of sometimes just annoying because it takes so long to get everybody a job. But I went ahead and did that today because they do need flight hours. Some people have leveled up a couple. I know Megan is one. Megan, she's now a captain. I can't remember the other one. It was like Kira or Kayla. Or it was Jasmine, I think. Went up to a senior captain. Uh, also hired two people the other day. Here's one, Morgan. Uh, he's a training captain at 100%. And then I got someone else who's just a commercial pilot's license. Might be this guy. I'm not totally sure. But it's somebody like that. Just a commercial pilot slice, so no, no big deal. I'm not sure if I showed you in the last episode. Oh yeah, by the way, we've got 18, 9, almost, we're going to get ready to hit 19 in just a minute. And actually, if you look at some of these jobs, I've already got going. There's the top. 749, 735, 553, I mean, we got some, some of these planes, man, we can bring in some huge, huge money. Hope this guy's getting ready to land. Uh, anyway, I imported the MD-11. Have to fix a couple things like the fuel burn. I, uh, maybe even the range. I just imported it. Uh, didn't have enough money to buy it to fix all that to figure it out. But I do now, so I'll figure that out in a little bit. I also have the 747 installed. This is not it. This is just the one that comes with it. Uh, but I ha installed it. It works pretty good. So I'll import it as well. As for this episode, we can go ahead. I already found us a job. Like I said, I wanted to try and go uh, base to base. And we're in Wichita. And I found a quick one. It's a good one. Only 364 miles over to Denver. Well, it's fragile. Uh, but it pays almost a quarter mil. So it should be a good flight for us. Quick and pays good. So let's go ahead and click this. Get it all loaded up. Make sure we have more than enough fuel. As you <laughs> kind of had been using a ton. All right. Everything is now loaded, and I'll see you guys in the cockpit. What's up, everybody? Here in the cockpit. Let's uh, get some lights on and everything. FMC We are at Wichita K-I-C-T Our origin And we're going to Caden Flight number 3737 For you heard 37 Departure and approach. Arrival. All right, we're taking off on 19 right. There's no sit for us. Arrival. We're going to go on 34 left. We are taking quail 6. I'm not sure if we need a transition. Well, we do now. I don't know how to get that off. I've tried before. I don't know how to get that crap off. Kick out all these discontinuities. 
can just simply move them up. Might have showed you that before, I'm not sure. All right. Our cruise altitude, we'll go to 32,000. I don't know. I don't know about that. So I won't mess with that. See, speed restrictions, 240 until 10,000. That was 250, but whatever. Not sure if that did anything. Best speed. Let's see. Here we go. Zero fuel weight. Click that. And click it again. We're going to carry 10,000 pounds of reserves. And cost index is 85. I don't even know these. Uh, taking off, we'll have 10 degrees of flex. You can see it has our V rates calculated, V speeds. Let's see. The approach, here we go. Our Flaps will be landing 40 degrees. And I'll put it at 140 since we're going to be at that already. Not sure why it doesn't have the speeds. I don't know if I can hit that. Ah, crap. Probably clear that. Ah, uh, hell. Damn it. Shouldn't have done that. See, it's not got our speeds. And it should. I've done something where it doesn't have it. Not sure why it doesn't have our stuff. Because it should, because I think I filled everything out, didn't I? Not sure what I missed. It seems like it's got everything. Going to 32,000. It's controlling all that. So I'm not sure what the problem is. It's just got everything. bugging me. Why doesn't it have all this? It should have everything. There we go. There we go. See, it's got our speeds and our altitudes. Because VNAV should work. Forgot about our lights. Since we don't start it up. Turn all our lights on. All 
All right, let's get pushed back. Push back. Go back eight feet. There we go. 90 degrees to the left. And uh, ground cockpit. All right, Captain. We're all set to go up here. We've been cleared to push and start at your discretion. Ready for push. Power and air clear. Doors closed. We are ready for pushback. Please park brake, please. Please park brake. Okay, parking brake is off. Clear Let's push. Set our flaps for ten. All right. Brakes off. Here we go. Push us back. And turn on flight director. Auto throttles. L nav, B nav should work, so it should follow our path automatically. Speed and everything. Just in theory, it should work. If I do, in fact, have everything set up correctly. that beautiful Delta plane. Yeah, we're we'll probably going in the grass a little bit. I don't know how to stop at the middle. I've stopped it in the middle before. The 747 and it screwed it all up. I had to end the flight and reload it, so I'm not going to mess with it. When they say it's done, it's done. Come on, guy. No B speed. It. All right, brakes are set and uh, pressure's normal. Okay, sir, the bar is on, pin is out, watch the pin on the road. All right, guys, thanks, you're cleared to disconnect. We will uh, be watching for the pin and the release from guidance on the right side of the airplane, and uh, we'll see you guys next time through. It had our... And it had our B-Speeds in there before. It's got all that. Now it's got it. Go back to legs. Got the parking brake. Let's get to the runway. It's right here, right beside us. It's one thing I like about this airport. I can remember any time I come to Wichita. Got to land this runway. It's really nice. Convenient. Makes for a shorter episode, too. I'm paying attention. Everything's set, I do believe. Let's uh, take off.
All right, gear up. You'll notice it tells you where your flaps need to be. Click on the autopilot. LNAV, VNAV. Should work. Everything's looking good, so I will go ahead and uh, speed this thing up, be back in just a bit.
so apparently we're gonna be doing this real quick as you can see it still got, got 330 knots that's crazy fast for uh, descending and everything like I said it's I probably could have put it like from this waypoint kick that out just gone from here to right over here but uh, I guess this also helps I don't know helps slow down see it says the set path unachievable I don't know why because it's absolutely achievable so I'm not sure why it's saying that Maybe it's because this. See, you've got that. It says bypass. I'm not sure why that's even in there. I was going to say... Yeah, there it goes. Picked it out. Uh, recalculated everything. Hopefully we're good to go. We need to... Uh, use the speed brake to get down. The problem with this uh, speed. Gotta get to nine thousand. I know it says bypass. will probably be a little high see it's not trying to descend that quick and it absolutely should be trying I think it's keeping it shallow because of the speed, but I would rather have the faster descent because we're almost off. We got to get down there. If I can spin it out, got to get down 4,000 feet in the next nine miles. It's trying to get it to 158, but come on, we got to descend. might be able to, especially if we can get the speed down. Let's look ahead. There's the uh, airport. I if I can... There we go. That's better. We still have a ways to go. It's finally descending from here. It actually doesn't help that much. Whoops, wrong way. Alright, so we're at 10 4. Gotta get down to 7. It's not too bad. With that speed break, we should be able to sink quicker while keeping our speed down. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights on. We're almost at 10,000. Just hit 10,000. You can hear the ding. Start uh, putting some flaps out. That ought to help. 
create some drag. We need to get down. See, it's sand. Can't do it, but it's not really trying. Gear down, flaps. I'm about to take this thing over. It's not gonna, you know, put our. I can't even arm the flaps right now. I'm just gonna cut it. I'll do it my friggin' self. Gotta watch the speed with those flats. Twenty five hundred. It's just going too fast, you know. Uh, the scent. Can't see. God dang it. I don't know what's doing that. There. Now we can arm it. Oh hell. See? Sink rate. Pull up. Sink rate. I think we had a long runway. Uh. Well, it wasn't a, the greatest thing. That's for sure. on the radio. It's just too daggone fast, you know? And it's so hard to get down when you're going that fast. It's going to be a long taxi. See how long it is. Uh, I might just cut this part. It's going to be too long. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of long. We almost had a great flight. I think it was just. It was going too fast, and then it couldn't descend on that path because of the speed. And the plane. Shut up, plane! I'm not taking off. Just give her some juice. Go 
hopefully that's our gate over on the left. Not too far. Got some jobs finishing up. That's nice. Beautiful play, man. Love it. I noticed in some of the videos I, uh, or I've never showed you at the outside of some of the other planes. I'll show you what they look like. Like, I don't think I ever showed you the DC-6 or anything. So maybe later on I'll make some videos, uh, some of those big planes that I never showed you the outside. I think I showed you the DC-9. When we were uh, down in Wilmington experiencing all of those problems. Whoa, we are going way too fast. <laughs> See, it says TCAS off. I've been looking and looking and looking. I absolutely cannot find the TCAS. I was looking during that flight, I just can't find it. Got a plane over here, taxi. I don't think it's uh, by us, though. I do like the Denver Airport. I remember at first, it's, I think it was a big boondoggle. They spent so much money and they had some problems and everything. I think it turned out nice. I was there back in the winter of uh, 97. It's the only time I've been to this airport. It was pretty nice as I remember it. It was uh, built in the early to mid 90s. So it hadn't been up too long when I was there. Went out to Keystone, Colorado for a week to ski. Skied a whole bunch of places out in Keystone. Took a charter uh, bus out to Vail one night. That chart, that skiing at Vail was unbelievable. We left in the morning and uh, overnight we had gotten almost a foot of fresh snow. So we got there early in the morning. We we're some of the first people on the slopes. Uh, like a foot of fresh powder is unreal. But those de-icing machines that are extended, I'm not sure why those guys are out there. What else they would be doing? Put the bucket up in here. We're almost there. It was a long taxi, and I guess I didn't cut it, so... Sorry. It's a massive airport.
All right, set the parking brake. I think where we're we're at where we need to be. Seems like we should be up further. Although we're not going into the gate. Really. Might as well. Everybody else is. Everybody else is doing it. Why not me? That's good enough. All right, shut it down. The only way I know how. Turn all these lights off. Not that there's any real reason to do that. It's got external power somewhere. I don't know. Might actually be able to set that up. Eh, who cares what that warning is? We got power. It's probably because it's not set up correctly. I'm supposed to do something up here. I'm not exactly sure what. <laughs> oh well. We're not being totally realistic, you know. So we used what? 600? That's not 600 nautical miles worth? That's not too bad. Not as bad as it was. We were doing way worse. I guess uh, autopilot does work a lot better. we we'll let it decide. But this flight is finally done. Might have time for another one tonight. Come on, thing. This thing, since we had all those bases, it's going so slow. 250... I don't know, everything seems fine to me. Wow, 7,000 pounds an hour. It's a lot of damn fuel. It's like a... I don't know how much that is. I was going to... forgot pounds and dollars. Alright, we're over in Denver. I wonder if there's any anything good. I'm not going to do it this episode. But there could be something good over at Denver. Pays a lot, short, doesn't really have the runway for it. As you can see, I needed a lot of runway. Although I was coming in so daggone fast, wasn't prepared for all that. Terre Haute, that pays nothing to get to there. That's not so bad, it's a long one. That's probably... That nah, might be better. Daytona Beach. Two to Daytona. You could do both those. Two jobs at once. You know, I like that. Alright, let's check out our finance and then we'll get out of here. 20 million. Come a long way if you were watching this series. <laughs> the little Cessna. To now, I mean... It's 20 million and we were playing around the Cessna that's crazy but 20 million monthly overheads 12.9 man we've just crushing this money making a ton making a killing out there alright that's the end of this uh, episode guys check back for the next flight